one of the questions I get asked a lot is why do we have a treble and a bass clef why don't we write everything out in the treble clef that we know really well the answer is of course as far as the treble clef goes once we get to middle C we're on the first ledger line and then we start to go down to uh, the space under the first ledger line and then two ledger lines and more and more ledger lines ledger lines if you don't know that are the little extensions on the stave and the same with the bass clef once we get to middle C okay and we start coming above that you get more and more and more uh, ledger lines let me show you a world where you'd only have a bass clef or a treble clef now there you can see look at the treble clef look at this note here this is an F in the treble clef which is equivalent to this F in the bass clef now in the bass clef it's just tucked underneath the, the stave in this space but on the treble clef it's in the space underneath the sixth ledger line so you can see how as the notes go up F G A B C D E F G A B C this C in the bass clef is the same as the C in the treble clef this is the middle C conversely as you come up the bass clef you see see all these notes this note here is a G in the space above the uh, stave on the treble clef here it's in the space above the sixth ledger line above the stave in the bass clef so you can see very quickly why we have this thing called the grand stave many many hundreds of years ago uh, there wasn't a, a treble clef and a bass clef there was this huge stave called the grand stave where all the notes were drawn and it looked a bit like this except it had continuous lines uh, nowadays we have what we call the grand stave is the treble clef and the bass clef bracketed together for usually piano music and you have the uh, treble clef at the top and you have the bass clef at the bottom the first part of the treble clef curls around the second line up fixing that note at G so this is called the G clef as well as being called the treble clef so it fixes the G this one here down here um, and all notes either side of that are worked out from that and in the same way the bass clef the two dots are either side of the fourth line up which is the note F this one here and it fixes that note to F like I say and all notes either side of that so now rather than that terrible mess of ledger lines we've got something much more usable so this is middle C on the piano and a lot of people think it's called middle C because it's kind of in the middle of the keyboard uh, myself included I used to think that but actually it's because it's in the middle of the two staves here it is in the bass clef and here it is in the treble clef the same notes in the bass clef it's on the ledger line directly above the stave and on the treble clef it's on the ledger line directly below the stave but both of these notes are middle C this note here and it's C4 C4 is its MIDI note number so if you've got a, an electronic keyboard like this one that will correspond to uh, MIDI note C4 so octave above is C5 octave below is C3 that's not to say that we don't sometimes uh, come down into the bass clef bass stave if you like area when we're playing in the treble clef so this G here let's put this in on the treble clef that's that G there and this A here is here on the second ledger line down and this B here is there so there we have this note of G and this note of G are the same note this one is expressed on the treble clef in that stave as being in the space underneath the second ledger line this note of A is on the second ledger line down and this note of B is underneath the first ledger line so let's do the same thing on the bass clef let's put this C in here again so now this D on the bass clef is here this E on the bass clef is here and this F on the bass clef is here so you can see C D E F on the treble clef and C D E F on the bass clef if we just play this bar or here it's the same note uh, in both clefs on both staves and sometimes it's more convenient to uh, have some of the notes that would normally be on the treble clef in the left hand of the piano and vice versa sometimes it's more convenient to come below uh, on the right hand basically we're talking about right hand and left hand I mean the treble clef is for the right hand and the bass clef is for the left hand sometimes we cross hands we bring the left hand over the right and 
and it says RH or LH, but that's, you know, a special occasion. So there we are. That's why we have bass and treble clef. So basically, the grand stave is 11 lines, five in the bass clef, five in the treble clef, and there's one in the middle for the middle C. And that should explain to you how we have left hand and right hand and explains why the notes in the bass clef are different to the notes in the treble clef. With the treble clef we do our usual thing we say the lines are uh, E, G, B, D, F every good boy deserves favour, fireworks, fruit, football and the spaces are F, A, C, E face it spells of course with the left hand the lines are G, B, D, F F A, good boys deserve fruit always, and the spaces are A C E G, or all cows eat grass. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.